Alright YouTube, I'm back. I built a spaceship. It has wings. Let's see how big of an explosion we can make this time. Engines and oh. Zero glasses. Before I go over. Okay. So after the last flight, I took a really close look at this thing. Uh this town here. The bottom of this uh, center of the bottom screen. Uh, it is some mixture of a artificial horizon that I have seen. So, I'm not entirely sure what or how it works, but I'm assuming that the little squiggly line represents uh, horizontal for the craft. The blue, I'm assuming, is when the nose is facing up, and we saw an orange in, a, in past flights. So I'm assuming you see orange if you're, uh, well, if you're going down, that would be bad. <coughs> I'm assuming these markings could actually be used for stuff, but since I'm basically eyeballing this game, uh... Yeah, it's, it does stuff. That's basically what I just told you. It does stuff. Okay, we're gonna run out of fuel in this next compartment in a second now. I will eject it. And move on to the next one. Okay, note to self. Wait a few seconds before starting the next module. It seems to make the other one blow up. But yeah. This is going spectacularly well. Now, I had sort of hoped to try and get into orbit, and as a someone who took physics in high school, I happen to know that I need to fall around the planet at a ridiculous pace in order to do so. So I'm looking to get to about 1,500 meters, or 15,000 I suppose, and then I want to accelerate horizontally, which is... Uh, if you didn't know, actually, how you stay in orbit. Um, I'm just messing with my throttle here, trying, keeping myself from accelerating too much. Save some fuel. Okay. As I get higher, I notice I need less and less... Like, well, you know, go power to actually fly. I'm assuming this is because there's less atmosphere, and thus friction. Um, this is looking good. Um, turn off the stabilizer. I know it's a, it sounds like a terrible idea, but I'm pretty sure I need it off in order to adjust myself in the direction I want. Um, you can tell it's on when this thing shows up, and this one, there are actually two, because I still have two on my ship. Um, yeah. Okay, let's slow the hell down. We don't need to go with this fast right now. What happens if I just cut power completely? We definitely slow down. Um. Hmm. We made it to orbit. So let's, uh, let's try going really fast now, because that's what I need to do. idea what I'm doing. I'm still flying a bit. I hope they have a rescue boat. Um, let's try cutting the engines for a second. Sweet. Well, if this episode runs into two parts, the second part's going to be kind of boring, I guess, because it will be me laughing hysterically, because I think I... I'd call this orbit. That's what I would call this. Definitely decaying. Yes, I'm a science fiction nerd type thing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I think I'm going to call the episode right here. I'm going to try and keep my s ship from flailing out of control like it is right now. We're definitely falling back to Earth. Anyways, 
Uh, see you later with what I hope will be a successful landing. Okay, I'm back. We're definitely falling. A lot. I have to take back everything I said about having reached orbit. For the record, I'm not actually touching any of the controls. That's simply the stabilizer trying to stabilize the ship. We just ran out of fuel. Um, that's okay. Um, I guess I'm just going to do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. But yeah. Um, a mostly successful test flight, I suppose. Now can I orient this ship how I want to for re-entry? Okay. Not that way. Okay. Um, it's a lot harder than it should be, I think. Stabilizer. Go. Stabilize. Do that. Um, I suppose I should try to see that. Um, yeah. Okay, there we go. Now we're falling. At the appropriate angle. That thing looks like it could do some serious damage if it hit us. Hopefully it won't. Look at it fly away. Bye bye. Okay, apparently all controls on the command module are super, super sensitive. So... I actually have no idea what kind of angle we're entering in, so... Oops, that wasn't meant to happen. Okay, um... Well, as long as that doesn't pop, we'll be fine. <laughs> okay, um... I'm probably going to do some heavy, heavy editing to make this episode long enough, because I really want to get that first... I guess you could call it flight in, but if I can't, I won't. Um, um, or there's a setting saying I'm a lot. There's really not a whole lot to talk about with this. We're literally waiting for our ship to hit the water and hopefully not explode. Okay, that was just eerie. Wow. I was down when that thing exploded. I was also saying explode. Um, okay. I don't actually know if you can land on water in this game. I know that you can't land on the dark side of the planet. I watched a streamer on li on the uh, precipice, principal precipice, I forget, live stream, try and do it. Uh, you basically explode. It was actually fairly entertaining. And, um... Uh, I'm really just waiting for this episode to end at this point, whether it's good or bad. Okay! Wasn't <laughs> expecting that. Uh, this is iPickleEye with uh, Stars and Leaves Gaming signing off, and <laughs> my metal thing is floating in the ocean. Hopefully I can get Carrot to try this game and fail epically, repeatedly over and over again. Always fun.